Hi guys, in a uh, previous tutorial video, we saw how to interface RP LiDAR or OED LiDAR with a laptop and visualize uh, LiDAR output using uh, this. And now we are going to see how to interface uh, LiDAR and how to make the map of the environment using a RP LiDAR sensor using hectare mapping algorithm. And I give the step by step process of uh, mapping process in my Notion documentation. and in that notion documentation i give my github link for uh, hectare mapping uh, in that repository you have a uh, hectare mapping node and you click that one and clone it on your workspace or directory and i give the step by step explanation about the what i mean etf and and github link is uh, lost and click that and go to code and copy it and after copying Go to terminal and go to your uh, directory and clone it on your src folder after cloning make catkin make right that's a step we follow for all the things we need to make after cloning we need to make the catkin make and now after cloning uh, we need to launch our pilotor node on your terminal and and I gave the hectare what is a hectare mapping hectare slam. We are using a hectare slam means so without watermetry information, we can, we can do the hectare mapping process. And so that's a future of uh, and specification of the hectare mapping. And go to terminal and launch a hectare mapping node. And first, uh, we need to launch a RP LiDAR node for getting the sensor information. That sensor information is needed for doing the mapping process, right? And uh, uh, launch, uh, cross launch RP LiDAR. Uh, it will launch RP LiDAR node. Uh, that uh, tutorial I give in my Notion documentation in my YouTube channel. I have that link uh, for doing the RP LiDAR interface with the laptop. And see what are the topics is running on our uh, system will be visualized by using a ROS topic list and type ROS topic eco scan it will be so the numerical values of the scan that numerical values or which is given by the LIDAR sensor and after that uh, make make launch the hectare mapping node go to SRC folder and go to hectare map which is cloned from github repository and after cloning uh, we have a name of hectare map right and go to that and launch ROS launch mapping default dot launch it will be launch your rp letter node first now the rp letter is node is launched Now we need to launch, we need to see launch our vis, for visualization and doing the mapping process. Go to add and add a TF data. Go to my topics or in topics in top, top down, you have an uh, TF. Uh, TF is nothing but uh, it's a ROS library used to find out the coordination frame of the robots, uh, the joints of the robots using, using TF frame. Now I am moving my LiDAR in top surface to the top, so the TF values change, right? So what is the use of TF means? Uh, you are fixing your LiDAR or your uh, camera in uh, your robot from surface to 150 mm or uh, 300 mm like. So robot should know my LiDAR is mounted from surface to the top is 300 mm. So it will be calculate and find out the exact and accurate level of obstacle avoidance and precision level of obstacle and collision avoidance will be did by the TF, right? So robot should know the exact location of the LiDAR sensor and uh, wheels, uh, for wheels we have wheel encoders, for camera we have visual audiometry information, that all are the needs. And go to my topics and add a map it will be do the mapping process in a grid map that that means grid means the the obstacles will be saved in black color and the object and white is in free space and I, now i am uh, using a laser scan so using that 
or we can visualize the uh, static obstacles and we see that static obstacles are more between the red color that scan information is known as a statical uh, obstacles and and using this mapping process only we need to go into the an autonomous navigation stack and open another terminal and run a ROS topic the, now ROS topic TF ROS topic eco TF it will be so the TF value in terminal after that we need to save the map right for that we have a map server one node it will be save the map in two file format like .yaml pgm that dot yaml have an information of map resolution of the pixel and the dollar will be available on uh, in uh, two file format dot yaml dot pgm uh, the pgm have the white and black color in a grid value and yaml have an information about the pixels and resolution of the map That white color is in free space and that black is in obstacle space and that the normal file have an, an information like a resolution of pixels and orientation of the map will be available on that and after this uh, we are entered into the navigation stack is a final stage of doing the mapping process uh, using a hecta mapping and after saving uh, it will be saved in two files format right after this uh, next tutorial video is based on gmapping and after that head uh, cartographer and after three mapping process we are entering into the navigation stack using amcl and mobase and all other parameters it is a big tutorial video will be based on navigation stack thank you we will see back on a new tutorial video using a gmapping using rp later in our coming video please subscribe